TNTM, the show presents Talking Nerdy with SGNS. With your host, Pablo Gunner, and guest, Aldrian Alfonso. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> and so you're like, you're the, you're the dude, right? Uh, for now, yes. I mean, I'm, I'm the main uh, photographer and videographer. I do most of the photography and videography that you see in Comic-Cons. With our music videos and of course the photos that you see yeah so i i always refer to you as um you're you you're like the next level above us like you're what we try to achieve you know okay. but never but never do or will i mean we don't try to copy you yeah. guys or anything because you guys you guys have your own thing like yeah. the music videos which are yeah. always a huge hit so yeah make sure you. you go to youtube and check that out right what is the you could uh, check YouTube. Uh, it's going to be called Super Geeky Nerdy Show. And if you want to see the photos, it's going to be under uh, on Facebook and Instagram under SGNS Entertainment. So we kind of separated that uh, because we wanted to make the photography section a little bit more professional sounding. That's why we did that for. Okay, cool. So yeah, uh, yeah, because those videos, those are a huge hit. They're always like, you guys, how many views do you guys usually get? Like a thousand, at least over a thousand, right? Oh uh, yeah, we always get like at least over a thousand. Our most successful music video we have so far is the Albuquerque Comic Con 2017. It's up to eighty thousand views now. Oh, wow, yeah, okay. it's a lot. I mean, it's a lot. But you know, I heard that YouTube kind of changed the algorithm. So what happens is you know you're gonna struggle on getting views it really depends on what content you have but right now our newest music videos does get a little bit over a thousand one of them is up to three thousand now that was albuquerque comic con 2018 uh it has almost three thousand views not as compared to the 2000 uh 2017 so i don't know what happened there yeah yeah they changed things up it's a lot it's a lot harder now like i don't know if you guys ever did the monetization or not but they took that away if you don't get like over, I think it's like a thousand views mm -hmm. a week or something like that, yeah. or it was something crazy. Uh, so they, but to me that makes it easier because when they took that away from us, now there's no restrictions. So now I can put in like mainstream music, you know, that's I can true, put in true. video uh, from, you know, from movies or shows or music from anime. Well, it's, anime is weird because in japan it still gets blocked yeah yeah but everywhere else it's still available it seems like you know so it's fine and i'm like okay i don't know how many viewers <laughs> i got in japan anyway so i don't know if that's gonna matter you know what so, I mean? there's quite a few uh, so, views in japan uh, you just have to make sure that whenever you have that kind of block notice uh -huh. make sure that it's viewable on all formats and the number one thing you want to make it viewed on is cell phones okay most people will watch the videos on their cell phones. Right. Um, and most people, they don't care about the resolution. They just care about seeing it on their cell phone. Okay. So if it's restricted on cell phone, do something because you're going to lose a lot of views if you don't do that. Okay, yeah. yeah. I mean, we're we're awful. Like, we do not get that much views. Well, you just have to keep going. I mean, <laughs> you just have to uh, get a niche market there, out there. So right now, um, in the beginning with SGNS, we had variety shows. Uh -huh. pretty much like we'll review games we'll do geek stuff and i still want to do that i still want to do that and you know it'll be cool if we could do it together you know, yeah geek yeah. stuff that would be cool. cool um what happens is it got views but it was a lot of work for just much not much views uh -huh. but it was fun and then we found our niche market where people seem to like the music videos right. so that's when we start doing it obviously you don't get music videos all the time because comic cons do not because they're not like every day, they're not every month. So when we do have a music video, we'll release it, and then that's what gets abused. But you guys have been to other conventions other than local, right? You guys, yep. uh, Denver? Went to Denver. Um, so far, we only went to uh, Denver, and we're wanting to go to Salt Lake City. Okay. And, of course, other places. So, yeah, most of our Comic Cons are local, but Denver is probably one of the best if not the best comic con you go to in the United States because um it's less crowded, more organized. Their uh their you know um celebrity guests 
is fantastic. All the yeah, time. they had uh, the guy that plays Oliver Queen mm-hmm. from Arrow. I was like, oh man, yeah. that's freaking cool. Not only that, I mean, uh, there's there's uh, Aquaman that went there. Jason Momoa, he was there. Oh no way. Yeah, and two years ago, I got to meet uh, Cersei from Game of Thrones. Oh, nice. Yeah. So they have some good high profile guests, and not only one or two. They have like at least five or even even up to ten yeah. high profile views. Uh, I mean high profile celebrities. Yeah, we uh, we were supposed to go to me and my wife were supposed to go to Phoenix Comic Fest. It's a good one. Uh, but we weren't we weren't able to go. Uh, and AJ AJ was, AJ got a press pass. Mm-hmm. I don't know what happened. I wasn't able to work out getting a press pass. Oh, um, nice. but. Uh, I don't know. It was it was a weird situation, and then the wife was just gonna go, you know, through a pass. And they have a lot of guests there too. But like I said, we weren't able to go just because of personal life stuff going on, you know. Yeah. Um, but the, yeah, they had a lot of guests there too. Just like all kinds of different, you know, from different things. It was it was pretty crazy. Do you ever go to Denver? No, I haven't. Oh, I haven't. And there's Colorado Springs. I think is another one that's kind of close. I don't know if that one's any good, but small. Uh, yeah. So there's there's stuff. I definitely want to venture out to Phoenix because they seem like they have a few solid ones. They do. And uh, I don't I don't know about Texas. I think there's one uh, there's one in Amarillo. What is it like Yellow City Comic Con? I think. I or think so. Like I've that. I've heard of uh, a lot of Texas Comic Con. They're they're quite good too. I, I haven't heard good things about El Paso though. Mm. So <laughs> probably not. <you> know. <laughs> I never heard of anything El Paso Comic Con, so that's why maybe that's why you never really heard anything. So, so and, and everything in Texas is so far. Yeah. Besides El Paso, like everything else is just really far. And then Sparks. that's uh, Amarillo is not that far though. Mm. What is it like? Is that one like six hours or I, maybe like four? Yeah, right? it's just in the Panhandle. Four or five. It's like the Panhandle. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, but yeah. So uh, yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, uh, one thing about cool about Denver Comic Con is because the reason why it's I love going there is again it's organized. The other thing is awesome celebrity guests. Other thing is beautiful cosplayers. I mean, I let my girlfriend not let, but I, I allowed her to <laughs> not let, but she wanted I wanted her to take the pictures, uh-huh. and I did the video, so it. it she stayed in one place and she had so many good pictures. Mm-hmm. Then we would venture off to another place, plant ourselves there, and then even take more pictures. Okay. Unlike, you know, sometimes when you go to smaller Comic Cons, you have to go around. Mm-hmm. There's nothing wrong with going around. You get to see a lot of stuff, but that's how big and robust Denver Comic Con is because all the cosplayers, they're so good that everywhere you look, they're very good. I mean, I'm, I'm all into cosplaying. Whenever I go to Comic-Cons, I don't really go there for getting the swag or getting the, the, the geek stuff. I go there for the cosplayers. That's probably the number one uh, thing I go towards for Comic-Cons. Right. I would say, like, the best thing, that's one of the best, is just taking pictures mm-hmm. of people or with them, you know? Because mm-hmm. I usually cosplay. I mm-hmm. like to do cosplay on the cheap, though. Like, if it's too expensive i'm not doing it and if i'm not comfortable i'm not doing it you know (laughs) like if i have to carry like a giant prop around forget about that or if it's just like a robust thing yeah i'm not doing it i want to be comfortable i pretty want it i I want it to be like kind of like casual you know like hey this is you you just wearing it out like i could wear this out to town and people wouldn't even know that i'm really in cosplay you know what i mean yeah yeah kind of because like that's what for uh for duke city comic-con I did, it was kind of like a mashup of, like, the movie version and the comic book version. And so I was just, like, wearing, I wore some green skinny jeans and then, like, a black tank top, you know, and that's it. Yeah, you know what? I, I Of course, I saw you there, but I forgot, what were you again in Duke City? Uh, so, yeah, I, I, like I said, I was I was Aquaman, and then the second day, Namor, the okay. Submariner. Okay. That was when I was wearing the vest with the, with the jeans, with the black jeans mm. and the angry eyebrows. Okay, that's so what I remember, but uh, yeah, and it was it was very interesting too. Just as that experience, uh, I kind of felt I kind of got a little understanding of how the ladies feel, you know, going to that convention with everybody just ogling me because I just had my I was just bare <laughs> chest, you know, yeah, yeah. with my vest open. 
um, real like like looking back, I probably should have shaved my nipples because my <laughs> nipple hair was a little long. But <laughs> you looked into, you looked I don't know if that's before. why people were looking at, at me or if it was just because I was shirtless. You know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> but it was hot. That's the other thing, too, is it was hot. Yeah, it's hot. It was during the summertime. So I go, like, this is the perfect time to do this. Yeah. You know? So, and I, I, I had been training, training pretty hard for that. Well, I was actually mm-hmm. training for Phoenix Comic Fest, but that didn't work out. So I was like, ah, oh, well, I guess we'll, I'll go to this instead. Okay. You, know? you still do that geek fitness thing? Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. The nerdy fitness. Yeah vlog so mm-hmm. yeah i still do that um i mean I don't know, i'm in a weird place with it though right now because my dad i've been i drive with my dad uh-huh. to work and he's a pain in the ass Ooh. and uh so he doesn't like he it doesn't make sense because he's like he doesn't want to go in early to go work out uh-huh. even though he gets up like way earlier than the time that we go to work out you know, like, he'll get up at, like, 8 or 9, but we leave to go work out at 11, you know, so I can get, like, a good hour and a half workout, you know. Okay. I like to get, like, I'm trying to do, like, an, like 30 minutes of cardio mm-hmm. and then, like, 30 minutes of, like, lifting, you know, uh, okay. or, or something like that. Do you go to a gym you know? or do you just, uh... Yeah, they have a gym at work okay. for us. Where so, work um, I work uh, up in Los Alamos. Oh, wow, that's a long long drive dude. yeah yeah that's why we drive together mm. but it's gotten to the point where he's such a pain in the butt that i that on the days that he's gonna drive i'm just gonna drive on my own since he doesn't because he's like he doesn't he doesn't want to he doesn't want to stay late and that's i like to do, do double double duty you know yeah, where yeah. i'll work out before shift and then i'll work out after shift you know that way i can split like oh just do cardio in the a.m and then do my lifting in the p.m you mm. know so and I probably I don't want to do that every day, but probably like every other day. Okay. So that, but it works because we alternate every other day. You yeah, know, yeah. Driving. So he gets all the perks though because then he gets to drive with me when it's my turn to drive. Okay. Um, but because uh, that's the only <laughs> that's that's the only way I can maintain my fitness, man. Yeah, yeah. Because he's he's destroying my fitness. I oh, can man. see I'm packing on the. Packing on the pounds. I, mean, I saw. I, know, I saw you're doing pretty well with your with your progression. So, so that's thank really you. Good. Thank you. But yeah, I've been slacking because of him because I can't go oh. every day. You know, he's like, oh, three days is enough, and I'm like, no, it's not. <laughs> no, like it's everyone not. says, five days a week. Yeah, you know, yeah. like that's what the mathematicians say, or the <laughs> scientists, whatever. <laughs> so, but yeah. Um, so so is there? You wanted to go to Salt Lake. That's the next big one. Uh, I don't know exactly when that is, but that's uh, because me and my friend went to Salt Lake City for a photography class back in March, and that place is nice. It's actually I hear it's a really nice city. It's a nice city. There's a lot it's of really uh, clean. It's very clean, and the only thing is uh, there's you more have to homeless, convert, right? You yeah, have you have to convert. No, no, you have to, to convert. Oh, <laughs> no, no. The the Mormons there are very nice. They don't they don't like go on your throat and say, hey, you have to convert to this. Um, there is quite a few, there's a lot more homeless people there. I mean, I'm down for converting. Yeah. No. <laughs> there's a Multiple lot more homeless. Lives. Yeah. Right, sure. <laughs> there's, there's a lot more homeless people there compared to Albuquerque. But the only thing difference is that people are very much nicer to them. They don't consider them a pest or, or like a, a bothersome to the community. Okay. That's what I've noticed. That's cool. And yeah, it's a bigger city. It's, it looks like a bigger city than Albuquerque, but there's less people. I've heard that just Albuquerque even has more people, which That's is kind weird. of a big surprise. You know? Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I saw it in the population thing. I was like, what? There's less people and much less people in Salt Lake City than Albuquerque. That's kind of odd. I think maybe because maybe we have more Latino people. Maybe. And uh, I don't know. Maybe they compete on the numbers maybe. with the putting out the kids, <laughs> but they're just not married, you know. Yeah. So you yeah. have multiple kids with multiple people, you know. And that's how you got to keep those numbers up, you know. And, and with Salt Lake City Comic Con, they if you look at the guest list, they have not as good as Denver, but they have a, a very big guest list. Salt Lake was the one that they had that big uh, lawsuit with San Diego Comic Con, wasn't yes, it? Yes, yes. And they actually lost it, so they had yeah. to change their name, don't they? Yeah, I think it's now Salt Lake. I forgot what it's called now, like some, some kind of sci-fi comic, comic crazy or comic... Uh, comic fan yeah it's I'm it's, gonna have to it's look really it. dumb that how that worked out that was because they could have just kept their mouth shut i don't know yeah yeah 
Yeah, they probably could have. Because, well, I mean, because now other, like, Phoenix Comic Fest, I think they were co- a Comic-Con as well, and that's why they changed their name to Phoenix Comic, Comic Fest. Yeah. And even now, they're like, yeah, Comic Fest doesn't fit, we're going to use Fusion next year. And I'm like, what? all right. <laughs> and But they haven't changed it here yet. That, but I think he's so, like, under the radar right now that he's... They can they can keep the Comic Con, yeah. Um, here they they are they're, uh, they're holding their grounds. Yeah, very much. You know, Jim Burleson is holding his ground to make sure that uh, he's we could still use uh, he could still use the word Comic Con here. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, he's getting away with it for now. So, which is cool. I'm all for that because I think it's dumb to change it. Yeah. I've always wanted to go for me. I've always wanted to go to, well, of course, the Mecca, right? San Diego Comic Con. San Diego, But yes, that's yeah. one I don't, I, I, well, I want to do both. You know, I want to yeah. go as just a, I, I want to go first as just a normal attendee yeah. with the wife. See how she likes it and mm-hmm. stuff. And uh, she actually helped me quite a bit for, for Duke City Comic Con the first day. Oh, cool. She went, I thought she went as, uh, what's her name from, gosh, from Attack on Titan, the blonde girl, um... Leon Hart, she's the female Titan that just okay. like messes people up. I thought that's what she went as, but then she like put on glasses and she was like, "No, um, I'm Sasha or whatever, not Sasha, um, the, the crazy chick, scientist chick." And I was like, "You're not, you're not, <laughs> you're not a brunette. I don't. That doesn't. That's confusing to me. Yeah. You know." <laughs> but uh, so, but uh, but yeah, she helped me a lot. She helped me film a little bit and stuff like that. Good, and, uh, good. And other stuff. Nice. She's helping me on the ideas, mm-hmm. on the ideas level too. So. Yeah, it's great working with a spouse, you know, like they see a different angle that you don't, uh, you know. Definitely, I mean, my my girlfriend has an eye for uh, angles and, you know, because they're all into selfies. <laughs> she always she always tells me I take bad selfies and, yeah, I guess I, I, I guess I take bad selfies. I just do better when it's photography, but when it comes to selfies, <laughs> I suck at it. You know, the lighting is horrible. Um... The angle is bad, you know. Yeah. <laughs> That's what happened. So she, and she's very friendly with everybody and everybody, you know, trusts her. So I, I pretty much love it when she takes the photography. Yeah, yeah, yeah that seems really great. Mm-hmm. That's really cool. So, but yeah, I want to take her to, you know, so we can just go and check it out. Because mm-hmm. that one's, it's, it's not even like a comic. That's, that's what kind of bugs me too, is that it's not a comic convention. It's a whole entertainment what is it you know it's it's like a whole media convention it's you know because there's movies shows and it's they're not even they're not even like nerdy things anymore they're just everything is there you know Uh, which is fine i'm all for that you know like make it inclusive of everyone you know but like it doesn't make sense that it's called a comic con if they're going to be inclusive of everything yeah you know they be... want they want the label comic con because it's the one that people know right they don't want to let that go um it should be like san diego entertainment yeah. expo or something like that you know it's media friend it's media friendly and media heavy that's why before i know i know, I know right now it just that's your number one comic con but comic con but before I just said, man, I really want to go to San Diego. Now it's like, if I go, cool. If not, um, I don't, I don't really care much because of the fact that, again, it's media, it's media heavy. Right. It's way too crowded. And, it is super crowded. Yeah. It's hard to get around, and I just go like, you know, that many nerds packed into one place inside. You know, the odors, <laughs> the scents, you know. <laughs> And yeah. stuff like that. And then you hear all the horror stories, too, of, like, chicks just getting grabbed all oh, the yeah, time, Oh, yeah, they get too. a lot of... Uh, because it's that, like, how do you even, you know, how do you even keep track? Oh, they're gone. Mm-hmm. You know, like, oh, it's so packed, you know. How are you going to find security in that mess and then f- have them find the person that, yeah. you know, touched you or whatever? So that's, that's pretty crazy. I think they kind of do things different, too, because they have, like, different sections. So they have, like, just an area where the cosplayers usually hang out. Oh you know? yeah, for for photography, right? Because it's just too hard to get pictures True. inside because it's so like it's literally like nut to butt. Don't you know? even try to take pictures in where the the vendors are because there is nothing, unless you have like a super wide screen or even some space. It's impossible to get really good pictures inside the actual vendors. Right, you need to be outside there. And that's why I'm like, that's why it doesn't intrigue me that much to go as press unless I can interview. 
celebrities celebrities yeah. and like even if it's like shorts kind of like mm-hmm. ign where you just ask like one question yeah. and then they're moving on you know <laughs> yeah. it's like just like they got drive-by interview yeah you know i would be fine with that just get one word from robert downey jr yeah. piss off i mean I, off. I hear he's a nice guy so i don't think he'd say that but <laughs> or a shout you know, out to, to, to your show yeah, yeah 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 anything you know oh, i don't have time for this that's that's good for me yeah. you know if i can get that but um so I think just on that, but it's one of those things too, you have to choose, right? You have to choose like, am I going to camp out for the panels? Because for those panel rooms, you have to camp out and then you're in there all day. Yep. You know, the only way like you have to have someone save your seat if you want to go use a restroom and then you come back and that's it. Uh-huh. You know, even then you might have to get into a pencil fight, <laughs> you know. Um, What's a pencil fight? What are you, you talking know, where about? you stab somebody in the because someone got stabbed in the eye with a pencil. I don't know if it was one like of those John cl- Wick or what? click pencils, you know, or if no. it was like you know they like sharpened it. Is that first. for real? Like yeah, it, for for, for real, that happened in one of the panel rooms what? a couple years ago. Damn, I mm-hmm. never heard of that. But even then, like the panels, like Marvel's not even showing up with their A game to San Diego Comic Con anymore. They're showing their A game at their own conventions like d23 or whatever yeah, yeah, you know yeah. like the marvel i mean not marvel disney at the disney conventions yeah. or like the star wars one star wars celebration you know like they're saving that stuff for those instead of going to san diego comic-con because like this year they didn't have anything it was all dc but dc's such a mess when like hey it may look cool in the trailer and then it comes out and you're like oh like cg heavy yeah yeah I did watch. I did watch Justice League, um, and I, I don't know. Maybe maybe it's just my style, but I really like uh, Batman vs Superman. I like that movie. It wasn't it wasn't as bad as people have been making it. I just like I just like how I, I guess I'm just a visual person. I really love the style of the movie. Uh, story, it's it's all right. Yeah, the story <laughs> was pretty bad with Doomsday Actually, and good. all that mess. Yeah. But like that Batman scene where he's taking out those whole room of dudes, that was legit. Yeah, that was really good. That reminded me of uh, uh, how it is when like the Dark Knight and Batman Returns. That's how he fights. Yeah, know? fights very in close. So I like that. I like Ben Affleck as Batman. It's not as bad. Yeah, I don't think I don't think it's that bad. No. I just wish they would have repeated that style in Justice League of him, but him like fighting parademons. You know, it's like okay, if he can take out a room of like twenty dudes by himself that quick. How come he can't take on like at least like three parademons at once? Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, the whole thing with when when it was Batman versus Superman, I felt like Batman was the weakest one, obviously, because he's not. He, he doesn't, doesn't have, any have powers. He doesn't have any powers. He yeah. has. He's like James Bond. He, he has tech. a lot. Of, yeah, exactly. So how the hell did he even survive with <laughs> with with Wonder Woman? She could fly. I like right. She could fly, right? I, I don't think she can fly. Well, she, she can just jump, like leaps. Uh, yeah, leap, like okay. really far. Yeah. Um, and then of course uh, you got uh, you got Superman, and it just seemed like Batman was the weakest link. Yeah, he well he and he even took guns from the aliens at one point was using their guns and I'm like, he hates guns because his family got killed with gun yeah, with a yeah. gun. I don't know why he's doing this. I don't know. Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> so you're you're an uh, obviously you know a lot about comic books. So yeah, yeah. If you know a lot about comic books, you're going to pick notice. That stuff apart. Yeah, yeah. Me, I'm I, I I know comic books just to get by, but I'm not as robust as uh, other people. I mean, my brothers they used to they used to collect comic books, so that's how I know characters. Other than that, I don't know everybody's storyline. You know, um, and I'm mostly just a video gamer. Okay. Yeah. So that's where my knowledge is with comic books and other geeky stuff. Not as much as you think. Nice, nice. Yeah. So, like, what are you what are you playing then? Well, right now I'm recently playing, of course, the God of War. I'm still trying to beat. The, oh the, yeah, the, that one came yeah. out. Yeah, I'll have to get that one eventually. Mm-hmm. And I've been switching that off with Horizon because Horizon Zero Dawn during that time I was busy. Uh, yeah. So I didn't get to play it. So what I did was I just started all over the, the game. Mm-hmm. That's the best way to do it. If you're lost, you're like. Now I'm gonna start all over because you get to enjoy the game and you get to appreciate more. And it seems hard, like too. It, it's I, a long game. It seems hard. So like, if you've gotten to a certain point, you haven't played it for a while, and then you jump back in, and you're mm-hmm. like, "Oh man, I don't remember the controls and all this stuff, and yeah. I don't know how to take down the enemies." But you're at a point where they're more difficult or something, <laughs> yeah. you know? Then yeah, you're probably better off. Yeah, definitely. So it, you, when you when you start all over, you get to see what you did wrong in the beginning, and you get to uh, save. 
your resource a little better. Right, you know how to play it a little better so you can do that. That's kind of like reattaching that classic gamer brain, you know, where you had to like restart the... You had to play a game all over if you died or if you shut it off. So you just got better every time you played it, you know, got a little bit farther, did it faster. Now I see that that you collect a lot of Sega Genesis games and, you know, a lot of retro games that are very old. Um, What is one of your favorite uh, Genesis games, for example? Because that was a big system for me growing up. Uh, for me, I don't know. I, I probably I would have to go with X Men. I just X-Men. love X Men so much. Yeah. All the X Men games are just so great. Remember the arcade? Uh, if so you, if you're old enough, like the arcade. Yeah. Where, where's the well? There's uh, well, there's the fighting game. Yeah. And then side scrolling. That one was the versus, but yeah, the side scrolling yeah. one. Yeah, that one's pretty sweet. I don't think quarter muncher big time. You know. Yeah, for yeah. sure. <laughs> yeah, I just and I love Nightcrawler. Yeah. Nightcrawler's always been my favorite guy, so... Oh, yeah, Nightcrawler had, like, pretty cool too. He was one of the fastest one there. But, I, of course, I always picked Wolverine, and one of the characters there, I think, was Gambit. Was Gambit there? Uh, no, the... arcade one? I don't think so. Oh, okay. He was yeah. in the X-Men game, though. I mean, in the in the Sega game, he was in... He was in... I think he's in both of them. I remember X-Men vs. Street Fighter. Uh, oh, yeah. It's a fighting game. Uh, me and my friends used to play that all the time. We got serious about it too. We get mad at each other if we <laughs> they start like like throwing too too much throwing. Uh-huh. Yeah, we get mad at each other. Like man, you know next next round you can't throw. We always have rules. <laughs> that's how that's that's how serious we were. Um, when they have like a little bit of power. Right? Yeah. Uh, so no throwing when we have a little bit of power and no using super moves because if you if you block, obviously it's gonna deplete your power. Yeah. So we had rules like that. We were so good at it that we <laughs> that it gets so heavy that like you want to you want to do your super move because it would kill them. Yeah. But you're, you're holding off. You're holding off. So we made a rule like that because we, we were again we were very serious about that fighting game. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Now you can do that stuff. I think like in a lot of games you can like turn off those yeah, things. Yeah, a lot more. Offense. You know, so so that's that's pretty cool that you can do that now. Mm-hmm. You know, so yeah, I've been playing. Uh, I finally beat Gears of War four. Mm. That that game, it, that game, that was weird for me because I just, I pretty much got an Xbox One just for that for that game. Okay, you know, because I was like, I have to get this game. I have to play it. Yeah. I've always been a fan of the Gears games, uh, and I was like, this one looks different. You know, this one looks cool, and uh, so I was like, different crew and stuff. So I was like, yeah, for sure. I, it's taken me a long time to play it. Well, I play, I had played it. And I was like, this is just plays like all the other games. This is boring. And I so I stopped playing right when they like kind of start introducing and changing things up, you know? So I, I watched, I don't know about you, but I don't like watching gameplay videos that much just because I'm like, oh, well, it ruins it for me, you yeah. know? And, and I'd rather play it than than watch somebody play it, you know, or watch... When it comes out or when it, before it comes out? Uh, Like after. Oh, yeah, you know? yeah, I don't like that. So, uh, like, you know, like somebody's Let's Plays or whatever, yeah, you know, yeah, like I'd rather play it myself. But I was like, oh, I want to see how the story plays out and stuff. So I watched it and I was like, wow, this game just keeps on, it changes it up constantly, you know? Because, mm-hmm. like, there's a part, they start introducing, like, these other weapons and stuff and you face these robots, you know, which is different from the other game because you face the monsters, you yeah. know, and stuff. So I was like, okay, this is cool. And then they do like kind of like a defense thing, you know. I don't know if you played like the multiplayer out for it, but uh, you you can there's like the horde mode. You can set up defenses, you know, yeah. and stuff like that. And so there's they actually have you do that in the game, you know, okay. in the actual story. And I was like, oh, that's really cool. And then there's like a motor motorcycle part, you know. You got to shoot like this plane down and stuff. And it just like it's always changing it up. And the then, horde mode. Or no, just in the in the main one. story. Okay, main story. Yeah, okay. in the main story, it was like changing it up, you know, constantly like the gameplay and and stuff. And yeah. then if they're not like they're adding like just interesting story elements. That another thing is it's always emotional. I don't know if you played Gears games, but they're they're, they're very emotional. Yeah, I've only at a played one one and two. Um, yeah. just because my brother had it. One was on PC. Oh, okay. Uh, and the number two was on his uh, on his F- Xbox three hundred and sixty. Now, other than that, I'm, I don't really play as much um, Gears because of the fact that I'm a PlayStation guy. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So, but yeah, it's, uh, it turned out to be a really great game. I was pretty impressed with it. So, 
I'm also uh, I've been trying to get a hundred percent trophies mm. for Mass Effect, but my stupid game keeps on freezing. The newest every single no, not the new one, but the original. Oh, the original one, and so it keeps on freezing. I'm I'm on the final boss fight and it freezes every single time. Oh, I've man. even beaten the final boss, and I was like, hopefully I still got the trophy because yeah. I beat it. But no, because it goes to a cutscene, and then it, you know, after the cutscene finishes, then I think you get the trophy. But it froze right after. I, oh. it, is that a problem so, with the Mass Effect games? Or just like, well, I think because they were originally made for the Xbox, mm-hmm. that when they ported them, there's just there's some issues with them, and that's oh. what I've noticed is that there's there's a lot of glitchy issues with at least the first game. I don't know about the other games because I haven't played them yet because mm-hmm. I'm trying to get the hundred percent for the trophies. So. Uh, I actually just bought another copy of it so that I can... Because I don't know if it's the disc. I'm assuming it's the disc. Did you check it? So, <laughs> I yeah, check. I checked it and it looks fine, yeah. you know? I rubbed it out really well. And uh, it just... It it didn't really help hmm. anything. So I bought another copy. So I'm going to try that probably tonight. I'm going to try playing it on this other copy just so I can finish it. And then I'll probably take it back. Okay. Uh, <laughs> or take back my copy. I don't know. Switch um, it off. Yeah, switch it out. <laughs> That's yeah. what I used to do. Like when with GameStop, um, sometimes you know, there's like a game. This was before they didn't check if it's open. Yeah. If there was something wrong with my game, I'm like I'm just gonna switch this out and get another <laughs> one because I actually just scratched it or something. Yeah. Um, when I was younger, of course, I, w- I didn't really take care of my games as good, but now I do. You know, I don't want to, I don't even touch the information side. I have to make <laughs> sure it's uh, finger fingerprint free. Uh, anything like that. You wear like white gloves. Yeah, no, no. You have like Not a glove extreme. box, like they do, and you know, pick it up with like some kind of you know like <laughs> some kind of tong or something. Like, hey. Robotic claw or something. <laughs> so yeah, I have also been uh, I've been playing. I just started. I got back to Uncharted Four. Oh man. Because that's another game where I played it, and I'm like, I'm bored. Yeah. I just got bored, and I'm like. I like I like uh, Tomb Raider better, like the new Tomb oh, Raider. Oh wow! Okay. I like the new Tomb Raider better. The now, rise the most of Tomb recent Raider. One I haven't played. That one's not out yet, is it? Uh, wait. The the newest one's gonna be Shadow of the Tomb Raider. The newest, the the one that rise, I rise. Yeah, I played rise. rise, and it's it wasn't as good as the because the I like the new the the first one that they put out. That's like mm-hmm. the relaunch or revamp or whatever. You know, it's different. Yeah. Uh, that one I liked a lot. This one I was like, it's okay, but I still like it more. I don't know what it is. Maybe I don't know if it's because it's a chick. I just feel more of like a, <laughs> a connection. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, but I don't know. I do like the brotherly thing. Yeah. I just feel like I'm waiting for my brother to betray me because yeah. I'm just waiting for it. That's know? how. That's how uh, so, uncharted is. They they get you into the game because I till this day I still can't find a game that has just as good. Um, facial animation or even or even action as uncharted i mean yeah tomb raider does get pretty close but when i played uncharted 4 i was just blown away every single scene because to me uncharted 4 is the pinnacle of what video game is supposed to be you know just a lot of action packed fantastic visuals fantastic physics and it's very real and you know god of war is another game that just excelled my my imagination of how games are supposed to be um and this is going to get better from here uh, for both for both systems for even for even for switch i'm glad switch is getting some games yeah they are getting a lot of games you know they're getting what the doom the uh-huh. doom one uh they're getting they're getting some kind they're getting i think they're getting a new um splatoon soon i'm, I'm not really sure it's there's an expansion I oh, think. okay it's an expansion okay but yeah, there's the new Smash and stuff. Mm-hmm. So I'll probably do a podcast oh, about Smash. the new the new direct for that. Yeah, that yeah. they had the Smash Ultimate. That'd be cool if we gather some people and do some Smash uh, gameplay. You know? Like yeah, that, that would be cool for sure. And then we just talk about random geek stuff. Yeah, definitely. See, that, that's that's just uh, some stuff that people would love to to see and to you know um, to watch. Just have to get something fun. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I love Smash just because like I'm not a big I'm not a big fighter. I mean, like I like fighters and I respect them, mm-hmm. you know, for what they do. But to me, like Smash is the only one that I'm really into because it's so different every time you play. You know, even if you're playing by yourself, you just throw it on random 
and like it's just freaking madness. You know, what it makes just, it what makes it random? Crazy. Because I'm not I'm not very familiar with too much of the Smash Brothers. Well, so. I mean, you can throw it on random, you know. So it's like a random stage, and then oh. it's random your random enemies, you okay, know. So it keeps it fresh. Okay. But it's also be it's also random, like, and you can turn this stuff off. But there's items constantly, you know. Mm, like there's yeah. Pokemon, and there's other items that you can use, and there's allies, you know. That can help you fight and stuff like that. That are like they're just temporary, you know, temporary allies. Like you can get like uh, knuckles, you know, yeah, and stuff like that, or just like you know, Pokemon and stuff. So I, I, just, so with the items, it always keeps it different. Like you're never, you can't repeat the same one unless you restrict, you know, all the limitations of it. You know, if unless you turn everything off, okay. and pick your enemies and pick the same stage, that's the only way it's going to be the same. You know. Mm. So, but yeah, and it's in, and there's so many characters. It's just fun to to try different characters out. Oh, Everyone has their favorites, though. The new know? one supposedly has all the characters. Yeah, and they're adding cool. new ones too. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. That's gonna be a big game. I could tell that there's gonna be a midnight release. There's gonna be a lot of gameplay footage right away on on YouTube, and there's probably going to be a lot of people that's gonna exploit some glitches to gonna find. Yeah, I hate when death happens. I mean. Yeah, it's there, but I hate when they exploit it. Why do you have to? Why do you have to ruin the game like that? <laughs> People's gonna start hating you. Like, oh, I don't want to play with this guy. Yeah. yeah. They're gonna start um, blasting you on social media right away. They're gonna go, hey, don't play with this guy because he he cheats, you know. Uh, with and that's gonna be for Switch, obviously. Uh, what what happened to the what happened to the Wii U? Is it still. It just didn't do well. Uh, so they don't make games there for it anymore. I don't. I don't know because I remember they didn't they put out the Breath of the Wild for both systems okay but I don't know about any of the other games hmm maybe that's why maybe that's, that's probably made the last one with the Breath of the Wild it's they're pretty smart to put it on both systems yeah it's more money for them and more you know I just think it's kind of funny though because really I, I don't think it was a bad system I don't I got it I think I've gotten actually I haven't gotten all the Nintendo systems I didn't get the GameCube um, I don't, I never owned a Super Nintendo. I mean, until, you know, recently. I mean, I played on them because my cousin had it. So I just, mm -hmm. uh, but like, I've always been a, a Sega Genesis guy. So, yeah, but, yeah. uh, but yeah, so I, but I've gotten into the, the newer ones and the Wii U, I thought it was a great system. And it's funny how a lot of people are praising the Switch when a lot of the games for the Switch are just re-releases from the Wii U. And I'm like, yeah. How are you guys trash talking the Wii U when these are the same games yeah. on the Wii U? Those are you the, know? those are the elite, and they don't too. even look that much better. Like <laughs> visually, the graphics when they even even for Breath of the Wild when they released them both, I'm like, there's not a big difference. Yeah. Visually, you know, I mean, I'm sure it runs better, but yeah, on a better and on a better looking system, maybe like you know, the aesthetically it looks better. Yeah, and it's cool to have it portable. Yeah, yeah, and that's I think that's the biggest thing about the the Switch is mm -hmm. that it's portable and that and I think that's why there's so many games getting ported that or that they're getting access to all these other games like there's Dragon Ball what is it Dragon Ball is it Dragon Ball's Fighters or is it It's also for the Switch? I don't know if that one's out for the Switch, but the other one is the uh, the Xenoverse. Mm, the Xenoverse okay. 2 I know is out for the Switch. Okay. And then yeah, Doom and all these other games and I go, even South Park, South Park the fractured yeah. but whole, uh, mm -hmm. that one. And I'm go, I'm like, I'll, I'll, I'll get it just because I can. Pl I don't have to play it. You know, I can play it when I'm not at home. You know, mm -hmm. but, but uh, yeah, it's. I had the, I had the Breath of the Wild for that one, and that game is ridiculous. That's another one, like you said with the uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Yeah, yeah, that one where it's like. There's so many layers to it uh, that yeah. I'm I'm actually you know someone stole it I'm gl I'm I'm looking forward to starting it over from the beginning because <laughs> now I know how to play it better yeah, yeah. you know and now I know like I now I know how to do things in a way that will work better. You're much better. more patient, I guess, because whenever I get a new game, I'm always like, oh, I want to see everything, but when you play it the second time around. You're a little bit more, of course. You're a little bit more patient than you. Well, I didn't play. I didn't. I didn't beat it. I never beat it. I in fact, I don't. I got. I don't even know if I got like one quarter of the way in. Oh wow! So, so yeah, really, okay. But it's such a huge world, and there's mm -hmm. so many layers to it. You know, so that's a big part of it. 
Yeah. But uh, but yeah. So but yeah, getting back to so also one thing that I love about Uncharted is just the dialogue in the story, like in the characters, mm-hmm. like their di- their dialogue with each other, and just like the things that even when Nathan's by himself, the things he says, you know, like yeah. the all that stuff is just so good. I love the characters in it. So Very have you realistic. played the have you played the newer one? That's like the ladies, the Lost Legacy. Yeah. No, I I didn't I didn't get that yet. Um, I will eventually get. I don't know. I'm not really sure if I want to get it as a physical copy. Maybe just a downloadable. Yeah. Uh, but I haven't played it. I heard it's good, but I I think I think the reason why I didn't play it is because I keep thinking it's just a, some kind of side expansion yeah i mean it you're, it's it was in a weird place where it's like well it's not a full game but it's not dlc yeah. so yeah it's it's like in a weird place naughty dog is a very good uh developer oh uh, yeah they kill it the last of us 2 uh seeing the gameplay is another thing that just blew me away i'm like oh wow that's another thing that just has a lot of possibility out there and they're not even finished i'm pretty sure it's going to be more polished and from what I've seen, I'm already impressed. I'm already wanting the game. It's day one buy for me. Day one purchase. I'm not going to wait. I'm going to go midnight, make sure I don't have work the next day, and you know, dedicate my whole day just playing. Are you going to dress up as Ellie? <laughs> yeah. Or uh, or what's his name? What, what's, what's the Joel? Deal? Joel, yeah. yeah. I don't know if he's going to be there. Like, Yeah, he, they playing. haven't shown him at all. Yeah. And it might I be wonder, a ghost. Like, I don't know. Is he going to be... Is he dead or is he just like a really old man now? That's what I'm wondering is like, what part is he going to play in this? Because yeah. I feel like you have to make this story come full circle, you know? Uh, fans fans are going to be disappointed if he's not going to be there. If it's just going to be like some kind of thought in Ellie's uh, mind. Yeah. Like, she's, he's guiding her. That's cool, though. I like that. But at the same time, there's some fans out there that will be pissed off and kind of disappointed if he's not I, I just want her to find out the truth. Yeah. You know? I just yeah. wanted to find out the truth, like get that full circle. Yeah. But yeah, that's that's one where I see the gameplay, and I feel like I'm playing the first one again, but it's w- even more intense. Yeah, better you know, graphics. I feel it. I get my my heart's pumping. Mm-hmm. You know, like oh my gosh, yeah. it's it looks intense. And people react like I love the physics there because people react to bullets and, and arrows. They're going if you hit them right in the leg, they're going to react like that. Yeah. You know, older video games, you hit them on the on the leg, they'll react the same way like they've been oh i got hit in the stomach you know this is a little bit more more um detailed yeah it seems so accurate Mm -hmm. it just flows it's like you can grab you'll be running you can grab a bottle throw it at some lady hit her she'll react you'll attack this other guy you know slice his throat you know then she's shooting at you or something Mm -hmm. you yeah it just that looks so amazing i always trust naughty dog with their game so i could i could already tell because when I first played it, I was like, I hope they don't make the sequel of this because you can't top it. Mm-hmm. But it, just the way it looks, it looks yeah. like they're, they've already done it. They've already topped it. Just to, to me, I could already tell they're going yeah. through it. Um, there's, there, there's questions to me that I'm trying to figure out. Like, will there be still clickers? Uh, will there be still a big big uh, presence of those, uh, of those uh, diseased you know, the, yeah. the diseased people. Mm-hmm. Just wondering if that would be still a big presence. I imagine so. I mean, that's the whole reason they yeah. have the apocalypse. But it seems like people are a big threat mm-hmm. in this one more than the other one. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, same year. I, I'm going to have to get that one uh, for sure. I, I, di- I didn't play the, uh, the DLC for... For oh the yeah, Last of Us though. I heard could, that was really good. You could get the remastered one for really cheap on PlayStation Four. Uh, I I got it. Just I mean I didn't get it, but I I got it for my friend and I checked it out and it was it it was uh exactly the same, but it just ran better, obviously because it's for PlayStation Four. If you don't have it for the PlayStation Three, it's very good to get just get it for the PlayStation Four because it already comes with downloadable. Uh, Ellie side quest game. Okay, sweet. Mm-hmm. It's cool. already there for free. Yeah, that game was freaking mm-hmm. brilliant. I think that's for me. I think that was one of the best games, probably one of the best games ever made. Yeah, you know, it just ha- it just kind of changed the way how you 
how you look at games. Yeah. There's always games like that. Because they took, like, a little bit of everything, you know? Like, there's even some RPG elements where, like, you can craft your own weapons. Yeah. And But it wasn't too deep to the point where, like, you have to go with all this list and it's, like, all this work, you yeah. know? So, it which was, I don't mind good. that stuff, but, but a lot of gamers... You know, like certain gamers do. Yeah, that's it, another thing. I feel like I feel like the shooting is a little is a little weak in Uncharted. Uncharted? Like, uh, you mean like the like the gunplay? Yeah. Yeah. I, well, it's not gonna be as I, I I I I agree with you because when you compare the shooting to other shooters, like let's say like for example, Gears of War. Yeah. yeah that's, that's, that's gonna be. Point. A, yeah. I that's, mean, that's the main focus. Yeah. It's gonna be more louder. It's gonna be more. You know, bang bang. Right. The Uncharted is more like it's more immersion, and yeah, they're gonna have gunplay. It's more realistic. Yeah, it's too. more realistic. Because that's the thing is, you're just a dude. Yeah. That he's like he's an adventurer. He's yeah. not the top marksman. He's not a soldier. No. You know. He's not hey, an army. in Gears, you are the best of the yeah. best soldier. You know, Mass Effect, you're the best of the best. Mm -hmm. You know, even like Call of Duty. Hey, this is a shooting game. It mm -hmm. only makes sense that that's the best. Thing about it not the story yeah you know but i'm just saying like that's one minor that is i just like it a little bit a little bit tighter you yeah. know um i'm pretty sure it's gonna be the same thing with uh with uh, the last of us i mean obviously it's again it's from naughty dog it's gonna be the same thing but that it, one was i don't know that i thought that that one was kind of similar mm -hmm. you know where the like shooting the shooting mechanics. was not but you had other weapons. Like, I yeah. love using the bow, yeah. you know, and other weapons like that, you so know. So, it bounces out. They, so. they, you get, like, of course, you get less of a uh, shooting mechanics game. I mean, it's, it has, still has a good mechanic, but they make it up by having such a great story, such a oh, great yeah. interaction, such a gr such great graphics, and, of course, just the character. You don't even give a crap about what weapons they have. You care about the characters because that's how much they develop your likeness for them. Right. You know, you instantly like them. Um, there's some games, like, uh, what's another game that you don't give a crap about the character, you just care about the shooting. Uh, Wolfenstein. Have you played Wolfenstein 2? Wolfenstein, yes, is yeah. a blast. Yeah, it is that's a blast. That's a game where I was like, oh man, yeah. this is so much fun. Dual gun, that's fun. You forget about the character, like, oh, cool, he's like a Duke Nukem type character. <laughs> he's, he's a macho character, he's a douche and stuff like that. Um, oops. You're gonna blank out the. That's fine. Okay. But anyways, he's he's kind of like a douche character, and but they give you so much guns to play with that you don't. Yeah, those. Forget. Yeah, they're so crazy. Yeah. You're just like, man, this is nuts. Doesn't it kind of remind you of Doom? Yeah. Or is it the same? No, it's not the same developer. Doom and Duke Nukem. No, I don't. No, it's not. No, no, Wolfenstein too. Is it from the same? Uh, I think it's from both of them are from Bethesda, right? Uh, I don't know. I don't. Maybe. Um, I think it might be. Because they have the same mechanics. Because I think they're supposed to put that one out for the Switch as well, I think. Yeah, Wolfenstein's going to be out for Switch. So, and of course, cool. uh, Doom. Mm -hmm. I like Doom. That's a good game, too. I haven't played that one. I heard it was pretty it's... pretty awesome. So, yeah. I just, I don't know. I, I feel weird because, like, I don't know. Have you played Rage? Now they have Rage 2 coming out, and mm -hmm. I did not like Rage that You didn't much. like that? You I didn't like I loved I loved uh, Rage uh, when it came out for PlayStation 3 and Xbox. I, Cause I just because it was like so... It, it was just too much like Doom where it was like it was a dungeon crawler, you know? Yeah. And it was like, oh, you just tran you just go get from point A to point B and then you're in these dungeons. And it was just, I was like, you guys are stuck in the past. Like, you got to change <laughs> up your gameplay, you know? Like, yeah, it, was, it was just a lot of repeat. Yeah, know? it was a lot of old school gameplay mechanics. Yeah. There was nothing new... Um, there was really the no new one RPG. looks pretty awesome though. Yeah, the new one's good because it looked they teamed up with somebody else. Did they team up with those guys that did um, Bullet Storm? Because it seems like some mechanics you you blow it them off. It seemed like that, you... yeah. Where it was like pretty ridiculous. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not now. You got me thinking who they teamed up with. But I thought Bullet Storm was the same guys that did the Gears games. Yeah, it's uh, it's still the Epic Games. Oh, okay. I, is it from Cliff Belinsky or whatever? Belinsky, well. Did he... I thought he left and went somewhere else. Maybe he did. So maybe it's just the same team. I just know that it's from Epic Games. Okay. So that's that's another thing. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of good stuff. But for me, like, I just... I don't have the time, you know? With my <laughs> commute and everything and, and the fitness, you know, I got to fit that in. And so I just... It's too hard to keep up. So I... 
Uh, what I've been trying to do is like an hour every night, play an hour every night before I go to bed. It's a good way to do it. You know, it's just so, and then I trade off systems too. Like I'll be like, one night it's the Xbox, one night it's the PlayStation. Yeah. You know, and then when I get the Switch, hey, I'll play that when I'm, when I get it again, I'll play that when I'm not at home, mm-hmm. you know. So that's that's really cool to be able to do that. Um, so, but getting back to conventions, I've always, I, I think it would also be really great to go to gaming conventions because they have the new stuff before, yeah. you know, like E3 would be great just because you get to see games before anybody knows about them, yeah. you know, and even if you could just film the new stuff, you know, I mean, obviously you can't get, you can't get the gameplay footage, but if you just could get footage of just the, what they have there, yeah. you know, that would be so legit. And that's uh, just trying the games out, you know, yeah. and stuff like that. Just trying it out before anybody else gets a chance. That would be cool. Dragon Con is one that I've uh, I've always wanted to go because I, I hear it's just a party. It's, I a hear party. it's just a party fest. A cosplay. Everyone just drinks. Yeah. And that one the seems hotel. like, yeah, it's just like hotel parties yeah. that's, from top to bottom. And they have a nice parade. Here's, when it comes to back to cons, uh, aside from San Diego Comic Con, which to me is kind of like not as appealing to me anymore, just yeah. my opinion. The top three Comic Cons I still want to go to with the best cosplay and the most. You'll see a lot of high profile cosplayers here too. Dragon Con. Okay, yeah. Okay, for number sure. one, Dragon Con. But that one's just. A, I just want to go to party. Yeah, yeah. You I don't even party. care. I don't even <laughs> care about like covering it as press. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. I would love to just take <laughs> photographs and videos. They have so much good cosplayers. Another one is called Katsukan. That's in uh, Baltimore, Maryland, and that's that's a really good Comic Con. It's almost like more of an anime. Yeah, that one's anime, but mm-hmm. isn't it like during the winter when it's yeah. still cold? Yeah, it's. I think it's during the winter. But I hear it's a really nice venue, a really nice uh, hotel. Yeah, yeah. so you get, you get the most best picture because uh, it's like white light. It's beautiful. It's yeah, beautiful. I hear it's beautiful it's there. Different. It's like the perfect setting for yep. taking uh, pictures with for anime. And if you want parties, I'll go to AX. AX, yeah, I, that's, that's one. That's you know what I'm gonna biggest, say. It's the biggest anime convention. It, it isn't is. It? it is. They have some really nice. Um, they have some really nice cosplayers there. That's another thing I would want to include. I forgot to include that. And the last thing you, you want to go to is, since you like parties, is Colossal Con. Have you ever seen that one before? Uh, it sounds famili- familiar. During the, summer, sure. during the summertime, there's parties. There's uh, a separate pool there that you could actually you know, take videos and everything. It's a lot of... Um, Bikini. I could wear my Namor bathing suit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a bikini a version of the cosplay. Okay, so awesome. There's a lot of parties there, and there's also a a cool petting zoo where you get to pet baby tigers. No way. Yeah. yeah. If you look at the if if you look at the well, YouTube videos, tell my wife about that, and she's like, go. "We're going right now." Yeah, you'll <laughs> see it right away. There's a big petting zoo that you could actually pet baby tigers and and all sorts of exotics. Uh, um, animals. This sounds. This sounds like it's a movie. Might be, yeah. Jurassic. Is this Jurassic Park? No. It's a. It's a fun Comic Con. <laughs> and they now, all. They're gonna break loose. And... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now they're all babies though. I mean, they're all like tiny animals. Yeah. Yeah. So that's one thing. That's what's unique. Like they're about riding that. around on the the baby brachiosaurus. No, I don't know. How, I don't know how it works, but there's. I guess there's a field you could play with them. Huh. You just have to look at the videos. It, awesome. I, I can't really explain to you. Okay, I'll have to check it out. Colossal Con. So for cosplayers, what are like your top, what are like your dream cosplayers that you want to like take pictures of or like interview or do a video with? Well, of course, number one uh, cosplay that I like to see or, or interview. Uh, whichever. Well, there's a lot of cosplayers. I mean, one of my favorite photographers, uh, David Love, he... He actually is friends with a lot of good cosplayers. Uh, some of them, um, I don't really remember all their name, but there's Kamui cosplay that that you have. She's really good with her cosplay, and she has tutorials on video. Okay, cool. She makes armors. She made a really cool monster hunter armor. And it's always high quality. It's always straight. And you know what? There we have. Good local cosplayers here too. Oh yeah, we have uh, we have Leia Stevo. Yes, you. She looks like a. Her talent is so good that you can't. You. you I'm, no offense, but you don't picture her living in New Mexico. You know. Yeah, yeah. You think like, oh, she's from L.A. or yeah, she's from, from L.A. Phoenix she's from New, or something. New York. She's from freaking yeah, uh, from somewhere else. But she is one, if not one of the 
if not the best cosplayer. She's won all kinds of awards yep. too at like these big Dragon cons. Con. Dragon Con. She won best of show. Wow. Yeah. So she's high profile. I um, think she got like second or third. I think at AX or something. Uh, yeah, I was wondering what what prize she got. She never really uh, said anything, but I, I know that she got something. Did you see her Star Guardian? That that one spider. Yeah, yeah. it's freaking Jeez. huge. I saw her in a video actually. I was yeah. I yeah, was expecting was I was expecting to have to have uh, to see her in a lot of uh, of the cosplay music videos, mm. but sometimes she only gets like a few seconds. I'm like, what? That's it? Yeah. Nah, come on. You have to give her more airtime than that. Well, because they always got to get the ladies in the in the little outfits. Yeah. You know, there was one video where this guy spent way too much time <laughs> on just just the backside of this one cosplayer, just her ass, back and forth. <laughs> I said, wait a who minute. Was it? Who was it? I don't know who it was. I don't know. It looks like she just bought her cosplay. There's nothing wrong with buying your cosplay. She said, there's a big difference, you know? Yeah. And he he, he gave her 25 seconds. Okay? I even counted. <laughs> when it came to Leia, I'm like, you gave her 12 seconds? Yeah. That's it? I'm glad you gave her. And there's so much detail. You got to like zoom in yeah, you on gotta zoom legs in. and the de- Yeah. You got to zoom in in her face because she had good makeup during that time, too. Mm. There was a lot of detail. Just... But that's, I guess, that's what it gets to views. Yeah. So you know, I'm not gonna judge him, but it just sucks. <laughs> she could have got more more airtime than what she did, and what she had. But there's other cosplayers here that's that's very good. I mean, I want to give a shout out to, of course, Leia Stevo. Give a shout out to Berna Kenshin. Uh, she's very good. She's with, amazing. She's too, amazing. Yeah. She has good makeup and her makeup's mind blowing and so like all of it. She looks like anime. She looks like a she looks like a freaking drawing. She looks like a different person every single time, and mm-hmm. that's the thing is like she truly captures each character. She does. When I see her, I'm just like, I'm just like lost. Yeah. You know, and like it's just so impressive. Check her out, Berna Kenshin cosplay. She's on Instagram. Uh, she does a lot of uh, Facebook. My Hero Academia cosplays. Yeah. And some other ones, I think JoJo's Bar- Bizarre Adventure. I want to say she and does some other ones. To to me, when I see other cosplayers, uh, the videos, she still does the best uh, hero hero my my hero academia yeah. cosplay because she dedicates her time and she dedicates a lot of details. She's a very nice person too. You you go up to her, she's very nice. She's really sweet. She's a very sweet person. So and she's gonna do. She, I think she's doing uh, Attack on Titan. She's trying to. Uh, Kind of revise it a little bit. Yeah. So I can't wait for that photo shoot. That's what I'm going to do with her pretty soon. Uh, we met her actually a long time ago in uh, Albuquerque Comic Con. It was um, back in 2014. We were very impressed on how she did her Levi. I think it was a Levi uh, cosplay. Mm-hmm. Said she's uh, the best one we've seen. You know, and let's let's go interview her. We did a little interview with her. So that's how we got kind of associated. Uh, we got uh, acquainted with her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's one of the best. I mean, she has phenomenal uh, makeup tutorials in, in YouTube. Gotta check her out. Other cosplayers that we have here, like Cheesecake Panda, she's very good. She's yeah, she does a lot of out-of-state cons. Yeah. Mm, she does. Because she's legit. Uh, she did, like, Bloodborne, which I'm dying to to see if I could take photos of that. But she, you know, she's uh, she's quite busy. I don't know what she, what she does, but... I think she's she goes to school full-time. Okay, yeah. I, I just don't want to bug her like that. But hopefully, you know, one day maybe she has time I could take. She's one of the best ones we have here. I'm just naming everyone that's here in uh, New Mexico. It's <laughs> amazing how, how many good cosplays we have here. Yeah. Um, a lot, a lot... A lot of them goes to Comic Cons. Like a lot of them goes to the Albuquerque Comic Cons. The ones that you've mentioned are the, like the only ones that I have not interviewed. I feel really? like I've interviewed almost all of them. Oh, <laughs> except for the ones you mentioned. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm friends with a lot of cosplayers like uh like Everett. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. That guy's hardcore. Yeah, he's he's the best it. <laughs> Pennywise, you could you could ever uh, encounter. He does so much stuff. Batman, uh, he's good Joker. Batman. Joker's awesome. Ro- he recently did uh, Robin. Oh yeah, the Teen yeah. Titans shoot, which that was really cool. He's like a chameleon, dude. Like him, him and Berna. It seems like they're they could adapt to anything. Yeah, they could be anything they want, and they'll just play it uh, very good. So it's it's very good. I'm I'm glad that uh, we have. Really talented local cosplayers here in New Mexico. We need that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just, I'm, I guess I'm just a basic B because I want to, I just want to interview Ivy Doom Kitty. Mm -hmm. Oh, Um, yeah, Ivy Doom Kitty. I want to do Momo Kun. Really? 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's amazing. Yeah. Um, who else? I don't know. I feel like there's so many more. Negri's just, like, so ridiculous. Like, yeah. she's just such a big deal. She's just, she, she's almost, like, celebrity, like, real celebrity she's status celebrity to me. Status. You know, yeah, because she's just, like, that number one ridiculous level. Yeah. So. I mean, I, I there's a lot of good uh, out-of-state cosplays, of course, but for some reason, I keep thinking of what we have here. Uh, I'm really, I'm really like uh, happy that we have really good talents uh, locally. Yeah, I America. think it really shows at the anime conventions. Those mm-hmm. people who are in anime, they are super hardcore. Yeah, about it, like they're just insane. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad too that I got to take photos of all these cosplays as well. They, they would contact SGNS and they say, hey, uh, see if we could take some photos. And I've only, I've only actively taken photos for a little bit over a year now. You know, I've, I've known photography, but I wasn't as active. Mm. Uh, it was mostly my friend that did the photos. I did the videos. But ever since, I think, last year, uh, I just started getting cosplayers to contact us. Or, you know, sometimes I would contact them say, hey, I really love your cosplay. If you have time, I would love to, you know, do some digital arts with your cosplay. That's what we did. Just a lot. Um, I'm pretty sure I missed a lot of you guys. I uh, there's There's a lot of you guys that are doing such great job on your art on your craft and also on your like just armor building uh also uh, another good cosplayer is beck miller she owns uh just she owns the shop yeah mm-hmm. that's good i'm glad that shop is still up and running and we need that we need that kind of uh kind of geekdom here another one is uh before i forget kim kim dunaway she's the owner of cosmic closet have you been there i haven't been to the, the i've been not to their new location. Oh my god, it's the new location is night and day. It's the new location is pretty much Toys R Us for for geek. Make sure you have money because she has a lot of stuff that you want to buy, you know. She's one of the she's one of the good ones we have here in the community that does a lot for cosplay. You know, she's a cosplayer herself. She does a great domino. Uh she was a good uh, she was she did Sonya, a good Sonya, I think. Did she do Sonya? I think so. Oh, okay. I know that she did Superwoman or uh Supergirl. Um, but she does she does a lot of uh, good cosplay. She does, of course, Princess Leia. She's a big Star Wars geek. Yeah, she's definitely um, she could definitely out geek a lot of guys out there. She she's her knowledge is big. Yeah, know? for sure. Yeah, but you gotta check out her. It's just there in the Cottonwood Mall, and you just uh, park where the the movie is, and just get out, and then you see it's on the right website. next to the that restaurant. Johnny yeah. Rockets. Johnny Rockets. It's right yeah. next to Johnny Rockets. It's good. Her her. I wish we had more stores like that. So she's another one that's, uh, I'm glad that, you know, she's local. For sure. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, uh, that's our hour. Um, your copay is 25 bucks uh, <laughs> for this deposit, session. Deposit. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, we'll wrap it up. I mean, we could do another one of these, yeah. you know, another time. So we'll, we'll cut this one uh, right here, right now. And um, what's your social media stuff? Well, uh, again, uh, SGNS Entertainment. So if you check us out on uh, Instagram or Facebook, just put SGNS Entertainment. You see it right away. And of course, the the YouTube channel we have is Super Geeky Nerdy Show. I also do um, I also do non cosplay photography. If I could plug that in, uh, I do have a Instagram called Aldrian Photographics. I do family photos. I do uh, portraits, modeling, general modeling, and I could I could even do like a, what is it called? I could do weddings and I could do like graduation photos. So that's something that I don't, I do non cosplay, non geek stuff. Okay. So I have that uh, uh, Instagram as well. All right, cool. Yeah, and you can always check us out at TNTM the show. That's all our stuff. Waste, that's a website, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, um, and I think YouTube. Yeah, all that <laughs> stuff. So uh, that's it. Stay nerdy, planet Earth. 